Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And as you might see from the wallpaper, we have summertime. And summertime means, of course, vacation time. And vacation time means shooting photos. And nearly a decade ago, or a little bit more, we were shooting with analog cameras, had films with about 40, 36 or 42 pictures that we could take and have and then sorted th those photos in photo albums. And those photo albums could take about 200 to 400 pictures. And you had for one event 36 or 42 pictures taken. But nowadays we have digital cameras and those digital cameras store almost unlimited uh, photos amounts of photos so we have almost 500 or 400 pictures from one event only and those pictures are stored on our computers and for better storing them we have photo management tools that allow us to better organize our photos and quickly search for them if you if we want to and one of those application is called Shotwell and it fits perfectly to the Lubuntu desktop as I think because it's very lightweight, very fast, has only the basic tools that you need for um, storing your files to organize your files. So first of all what do we need to do to install Shotwell? We go to our Synaptic Package Management tool, the menu Preferences Synaptic Package Manager and we search for the tool Shotwell There you have it. Click on Mark for installation, apply, root installed, and a few seconds later you have Shotwell already installed. And then you can find it under the applications menu. Graphics Shotwell Photo Manager. And this is the first start of Shotwell and as you can see it will show you a message that tells you how you can import from uh, existing files from your folder. If you have a camera or something just plug it in. Shotwell automatically detects this camera and wants to import the pictures on this camera. So first of all we will import some pictures. Import from folder. Uh, I'll choose my pictures folder here. Hit OK and as you can see it's importing some wallpapers. So a very easy to use application as you see. And you might see that here's some informations, information about this uh, pictures also shown like the size. And if it has any further tags here it will show them as well. Like the time when this uh, photo for example was shot and some geo lo location data if there are any and yeah it's ready there were some pictures not imported but yeah, that's basically the import process as you can see very straightforward and very easy and here we have now my photo or wallpaper library and as you can see you can scroll through your photos with a double click you can maximize them. You have the option then to edit some uh, photos and they're only basic editing functions so no big editing functions like we know it from other um, photo management tools like uh, GPhoto or uh, Digicam or something like that. They have big um, variation of editing tools and are very and it takes them very long to load as they have the uh, this editing functions implemented as plugins. But Shotwell does not, so it has only some basic instruments, and I think they work very cool. First of all, rotate. So rotate is a very common. Uh, if you take pictures and take them sideways you can rotate them. Then you can crop the image if you want to. As you can see very basic stuff. 
works very cool, works very easy. And then you have red eye reduction, of course, also very easy. Then you have some adjust features that allow you to adjust um, some um, colors. The temperature, for example, can add some shadows, tint, saturation, exposure, just like you want it to have. And as you can see, it is in live editing preview there. With that and you can enhance them automatically and this enhance feature works better than I expected and of course this picture also looks very good but if you click on enhance you can see it's enhancing it so in this part it, uh, it in this example it simply made the contrast a little bit higher we can read that reset this of course also if you don't like it and save it later on we can go to the next um, photo with this buttons here so very fast as you can see with escape we go out and we have a um, small icon thumbnail preview again so this is basic photo editing and uh, watching in Shotwell but there's more to it so on the left you can see we are in the photos section if you click on the events section you can see that shot will automatically took or created some events for our photos based on this time based on the date they were created those photos those uh, pictures those wallpapers and as you can see there's only one photo in this category here but you can if you w wish to create new events and put some photos in there and if you wish to, you can also mark those photos and add some tags to them. So for example, I want to mark all, all photos with animals in them. Hmm, no way to, no. Spider I think is here too. And yeah, there's only a few of them as you see. And then with a the right click, I can add a tag to those photos and can add more tags if I want to with a uh, separate with a comma. So I will only take this and as you can see it automatically created a new tags directory or tags category and there are my tags. Here's the animal tag and as you can see here are my photos now with the animal tag. Without copying over those photos to another directory or something, it's just uh, in the photo library. Just cool feature, I think, and it works very well. As you can see, if I'm scrolling through my library, it automatically shows me the tags to this photo. So if I want to add here another tag like um, spider you see there's a second tag added called spider I click here and I have now this image is in two categories so this is one way to organize your photos and I think it's very straightforward and as you can see it works very fast and very easily and this is exactly what I need to do and if you are ready with editing and have sorted all everything out uh, ordered everything, arranged everything as you might wish. You can just hit the slideshow button here, it will go to full screen mode, and you can see your pictures full screen. And you can adjust some settings like the seconds it will take to skip to the next photo. And I think this looks very cool. So simple photo editing and viewing tool that allows you to store, sort your files, create tags for them and even more. So this is Shotwell, a very cool a nice tool. And this is everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.